He's a star in his own right. He's Mark McDonald, and he's back with us for Get It Back in Gear Monday. Before we get started, how about a little inspiration? Now, let's watch this. We're down to the final six. This is just scary. Next Monday, the contestants are forced to face <laughs> their deepest fears. I want you to scare yourself, because this is the feeling of you getting stronger. You'll know what you just did here today, and we'll do it again tomorrow, and we'll do it again the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, for the next 365 days, until nothing stops you. Wow, there Ooh. you go. You watch these weight loss shows like <laughs> yeah. that, and you get in, and you start thinking, wait a minute, is that what I have to do? Work out five, six days a week? Mark McDonald, by the way, is the author yeah. of the book, Body Confidence, and we're talking about workout burnout, because again, you watch shows like that, and you're thinking, I've got yeah. to work out six well, days a week. Well, that's not even six days a week. That's like three to four to five hours a day, right. six days a week. Good point. It becomes a full-time job on those shows. So as much as it helps, it's not realistic in the real world. Okay. So we're talking about burnout. I'm telling you, when I you go over these, this list of signs you're overtraining and workout yeah. burnout, said again, it's hitting me big time. So yeah. I'll let you go through this here as I'm, I'm going to be trying to take some notes. Number one, the results stop. There, there you yeah. go. So, I mean, we talked about you. What, what's your workout burnout right now? What's right. going on with the you? The results have halted. Yeah, and your shoulders are hurting yes, as well. Yes, they are. So, <laughs> we talked about So, your results, when, you, when they stop coming, it's because when you work out, you cause damage to your muscle tissue. And rest allows your muscle to repair itself. So, if you train so much that you never recover, your, your body's in a chronic state of catabolic activity where it's breaking itself down. In addition, your stress hormone cortisol when you're working out too much, you're increasing your levels of cortisol. That makes you spike your blood sugar, store body fat, wow. and you stop getting results. You actually begin to regress. Because I'll, I'll say this, because I'm feeling the decreased motivation because all of a sudden the results stop. So results you're not as stop. motivated to get in there. Exactly. You're thinking, all right, I guess I better fight through this. So there's decreased motivation. Interesting, immune system broken. Yeah. So I'm more likely to get a cold? Yes, because you're in a catabolic activity in your environment, in your body. That's your body breaking itself down, and that affects your immune system. So now your body can't repair itself. It's in a damaged state. So anyone you're around that has a flu or a cold, you're going to catch it. Okay, so then the final one here, signs of overtraining, yep. increased aches and soreness. I am achy. How do you know it's not good, sore, my muscles are breaking down, I'm going to build them up? And it's just a damage and so it's an injury waiting when, to happen. When you get a good workout in, the next day is called delayed onset muscle soreness. You feel that. But if you're having constant soreness, nonstop aches, and you start getting little injuries, you're overtrained. Okay. Let's talk about ways to prevent that. Number one, pace yourself. Yeah, you solutions. So we got to yeah. look at the cause, and now we look at the solutions. Pacing yourself is understanding that if you're doing more than five days a week, for over 60 to 75 minutes, you're just training too much. Mm. It's not about doing more, it's about becoming better at what you do. Because when you're doing a lot of activity, you're gonna have those negative reactions. So pace yourself, understand, become sharper with your cardio and your strength training. Okay, good stuff there. The next one, create daily recharge moments. What do you mean by that? I love the recharge moments. So think of recharge, it's renew, and it's allowed yourself to recharge. The days are slammed. So 24 hours a day, we're constantly going. Imagine every three to four hours, you take a zen moment. Ooh. Five to ten minutes, you just listen to your favorite song, you stretch, you go for a walk, you recharge yourself, you turn your brain off and check out and chill, and that makes you stronger throughout the day. Because I'll tell you what happens, and you let everybody know this, when you go through this action-packed stress day, mm -hmm. at the end of it, what do you want to do? Eat. Eat. <laughs> right? You want to eat time. and you want to check out and you just want to zone out. So if you can get these mini Zen moments in, you prevent that backlash at the end of the day. And then the last one is schedule those weekly recovery days. So, Mike, I know you want to keep training. I do. And when you get results, you want to keep doing more and more, but you're going to burn yourself out. So you need those one to two days a week where you do nothing. You, you get your couch time on. You get the bed. You, you sleep longer. And you have fun days where you're not exercise-based so that you get balance back in your life. Okay. So, again, this is hitting me where I live. Because my thinking is, I know it's old school. It's like, I don't want to stop. Yeah. I don't want days off. I've gotten to this point. I've lost some weight. But you're saying what? What's the... The worst thing that can happen to me, I guess, is the big injury. And then well, I'm on the shelf. There's many. You can so do about it. life is about balance, right? Work, family, your health. So you have to keep everything within check. So when you keep pushing, 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 what's going to happen? You're going to blow your rotator cuff in your Ooh. shoulder. You're then going to have surgery. And oh, then no. your food's going to fall off plan. And you're going to lose every ounce of results and re backlash even further than when you were at your best. I've been set straight. <laughs> Good you're, stuff. You're right. Yeah, there's, there's, All right. 
Too much of a good thing is not great, so you no. have to keep it all in balance, all right? right? Let's show the book again. It's Body Confidence. Mark's the author. This is Get It Back in Gear Monday, where we reset the dial, whether it be eating, our diet, what we're putting in our body, or how we're working out. Nice job. Thanks, man. All right. Start no, resting. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's easier said than to put. You're right.